Hey there. Okay. I want to share with you guys a little update and talk about this special series that we are doing in the month of September. So if you're listening to this after the fact, the original air date was September 2022. And one of the reasons I want to do that, there's multiple different reasons why I want to do this growth mindset series. Um, but one of them being that September is a great month for, it's just a great energy month, right? October comes, September, like the summer slowdown is kind of over. People are starting to get back into business and it's a really, really exciting month and you, there's a lot of opportunity to get prepared for Q4. And so it's a perfect opportunity to do the growth mindset series. So that's number one. Number two, I mean, these episodes might be a little bit longer than normal just because I really want to dive into a couple things around mindset for growth when it comes to business growth. And the series is the best way I've found or I think to be able to do that is to really dive into these. There's a few mindsets that I see over and over and over with clients and I want to just share them. All right. Okay. And then... Last but not least, the reason why I want to do this mindset series is, and talking about number one, getting uncomfortable and staying uncomfortable, is because I have made a decision in my business that was pretty uncomfortable and it was pretty scary for a long, you know, a good couple of weeks that I am only going to take on one on one clients um, by application only and only through the end of September or like mid October. With, well, application would have to come through by end of September and we'd have to be started at the latest by October 15th. And that goes for my one month intensive, my two month intensive, or my rapid fire coaching retainer option. And there's a reason for it. And I want to share it because it's on my heart and it's really important to me. And it really falls in line with the first mindset that we want to do. But one of the things is, is I really want to go all in with the Alliance and I absolutely, absolutely, I love, 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 love doing one-on-one -on -one coaching and I love serving people one-on-one. -on -one. However, I also really, really love what is happening inside the Alliance and I have had the vision for the Alliance since 2019 and I have been toe dipping and I have been dabbling and it's time for me to go all in. It deserves that. The space is so amazing and so beautiful. And if you follow me on socials or any of the members, you're going to start seeing a ton of content about the Alliance because it just is becoming a space I never truly could have even imagined. I had a vision for it, but how it's actually coming together is just more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. And I want it to grow because it is such a space that everybody needs. Like uh, it's, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to get into it too much because I could talk about it for ever. It's, it means that much to me. And so hopefully you're sensing and hearing that passion. But the other thing is I don't want any of you to think that I don't still have a passion for coaching. I do. I absolutely love, love, love. They're, my brain fires on all cylinders when I am on strategy and coaching calls. However, and this is really important, this is a, a beautiful lesson for all of you too, is it's very hard to grow two things, okay? And I can't push and try to continue to grow and build and try to, you know, be in client acquisition mode on the one-on-one -on -one side while also growing the alliance. And there was a push-pull and I knew this was going to happen. At some point, I was going to need to, you know, decide which direction to go. And I love serving clients on retainer. You know that. I speak about it all the time. And so anyways, I am still taking on clients. So if you've been on the fence at all, um, now is the time. Now is the time to, and I'm not saying that because I'm trying to create any scarcity or anything of that sort. Trust me when I tell you, I've had a lot of mindset issues come up around this decision. It has not been an easy one. My mindset coach and I have been on the phone a lot. And again, there is nothing here that's scarcity or any of that or to try to get you to decide or, you know, this big push or anything. I absolutely hate being in the push. And so I'm not going to do it. I'm simply saying I need to move and focus my 
attention on actually creating awareness and visibility around the alliance, and that is why. But I still have room. Um, I have very specific, I'm very clear on my time, and so I do still have room to take on four new clients, whether that in whatever capacity, okay? So again, if you've been on the fence, if you want to talk about it, you can just visit my website, Michelle Denio consulting.com slash services and apply for one of those spots. Um, and I will be taking on new clients again, probably not in January. It's not like I'm done. I'm not walking away from coaching. I'm just taking, I just know where, what my capacity is. All right. And I talk a lot about that to you guys. What is your capacity? So anyways, there's the announcement. Let's dive in again. Growth mindset. Number one is get uncomfortable and stay uncomfortable. Okay. And what I mean by this is you need to start recognizing the excuses that you're using that are holding you back because that's what they are. And let me tell you a few of them, okay? Now, there is a difference in resistance because it's something you absolutely don't enjoy and you never want to do it versus just it's uncomfortable. And here's some excuses I hear that are straight up just excuses, okay, as to why you're not growing. I don't like the sound of my voice on video or an audio. I don't want to send an audio message because I don't like the sound of my voice. I don't like the way I look on camera. I don't like getting my, having my makeup done, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't want to bother people. I don't really like small talk. I'm too introverted. I don't really like to talk to people. People intimidate me. Tech intimidates me and shuts me down, right? Okay, listen, we all have these things that come up, right? I understand it. I don't love the sound of my voice either, but here I am twice a week and you see me on video all the time. And trust me, I'm not asking you to go back and replay it and listen to yourself, right? If you don't like the sound of your voice, don't go back and listen to it. You know, if I don't want to bother people, listen to me. We are bothered every day, all day, right? Look at all these big box brands. How many of you are signed up for text messages or different things or friends or family or Facebook when you get these notifications or anything like that? Trust me when I tell you, nobody else is thinking about whether or not they're going to send you that text message, these big, big businesses and brands, whether or not they're bothering you. They're sending you a message based on data. And that's all it is. It's data that says, here's the best time to send this message. We're going to send it and the client's either going to look at it or they're not. And the thing is, is you've got to get into that same mindset. It's not bothering people. You need to just send the damn message. Reach out. If somebody is that bothered by you, they are not going to be your client in the first place. Okay? So send it. Stop with these. Again, this is an excuse. What exactly are you bothering them with? Are you bothering them because you're going to be a pain in the ass? Are you bothering them because you've had a conversation with them and they told you to follow up and now you are following up and now you're worried about bothering them? If you send them a message just to say hello, you're worried about bothering? I mean, come on, like think about it. Think about it. This is where I'm saying you've got to get out of this mindset. This is, you are never going to grow your business beyond the point it is right now if you don't work on getting a little bit uncomfortable. And here is what I want you guys to understand. I am not talking about getting massively uncomfortable in one huge massive step. I'm not saying that you need to go from never showing up on camera to being on camera 10 times a day. You know this. This is not new. I've said this over and over and over and over again, all right? I am talking about taking that one small step, pushing yourself, moving beyond the excuses. But number one, recognizing those excuses. Like when you say those things, I don't want to bother people. I want you to ask yourself, why? What is, what is the reason here behind that statement? When you say, I don't like small talk. Okay. Well, business, you have to talk to people to be a business owner. Okay. Like, sorry, not sorry. If you don't like small talk and you don't like to talk to people, then go sell digital products. But even those don't sell themselves, right? Like for God's sakes, like you, I'm not sitting here saying you have to go on and on about what did you have for lunch today? Tell me about your dog. How's the weather, right? Like we all see through that. Nobody's really interested in that, that bullshit talk anyways. So if you're wanting to send a message and you don't like small talk, say, 
hey, Michelle, not really into small talk, wanted to follow up with you, cutting to the chase. You know how many times I do that? Those are my best received messages. When I send somebody a message and I say, listen, I'm not one for small talk. I'm not here to try to act like I'm not following up with you. I'm just going to cut to the chase. I launched this product. I launched this mastermind. I did this when I was launching the Alliance. I said, hey, I'm not, hey, XYZ person, haven't chatted with you in a while. I just wanted to shoot you a message. I'm going to cut to the chase. I launched the Accelerated Business Alliance. I know we talked about it. I just want to see if you're interested, right? Like, you have got to get out of your own head and you've got to be willing to do those little uncomfortable things, all right? And I understand that it's really hard. Most of the time we can't do it ourselves. Again, which is where rapid fire coaching may be a great option for you. Um, again, if you're on the fence, apply, hint, hint, wink, wink. I'm just saying that because truly, I want to be that person. Like, let me help you get uncomfortable. Go read any of my reviews. They're going to tell you that. Like, I have no problem giving you that little kick in the in the little tush, right? Like, let me just go kick you in the ass, and then I'm going to wrap you in a hug, and we're going to get through it, right? That is the beautiful thing about having somebody that can just recognize those excuses when you are holding yourself back. Because that's what it really is, is that you have got to get out of your own way. You've got to get out of your own way. Because if you don't, you're never going to grow. It's just, you can't be in your own way. It's like, continue. think about it like, um, all I can picture when I say that is like when you are walking and you're kind of walking straight on, head at, like head on somebody. And no matter what direction you move, like if you move left, they move right, right? So now you're still in front of each other and then you move right and then they move left, right? It's like you just constantly can't get around one another because you're both in your each other's way. That's all I can think of when I say that. Like these excuses, the things that come up, you've got to get out of your own way. And you can't. it's very hard to do on your own. But one of the things that you can do, so because I want to give you action items, is I want you to start being extremely aware of the things that come out of your mouth, the statements that you're making, the reasons why you're not doing something. I want you to think about something you're procrastinating on right now. Right this very minute, you are procrastinating on something. We all do it. And I want you to ask yourself, why am I procrastinating on this? If you can't come up with a valid reason, even if your valid reason is, I don't know how to do it, go find somebody that can help you do it. If your reason is, I don't like it, ask yourself, do I really need to be doing this? Is there something I can do that I do like? If the reason is I don't want to bother somebody, shut the hell up and go do it anyways because you're not bothering anybody. Um, if it's I'm too introverted, figure out a way that you can figure, like think about it. Be extremely mindful of the excuses that are coming up <coughs> because that's primarily what they are. They are excuses. There is zero, I mean, and you can come up with more excuses. We all do it. I'm not saying that I have never done this. Why do you think I keep telling you, and I told you in the beginning of this episode, that my mindset coach and I have been on the phone a lot. We've been boxering back and forth pretty much every single day, all day, for the past week and a half because I had a million excuses as to why I should not stop, you know, taking on one-on-one -on -one clients and how scary it was and all the reasons and why this was going to be so hard for me and why this and da, 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 da. And again, we all do it because it's uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable place to be to make a decision like that. But I'm telling you that if you want to grow your business, you have to be willing to make those uncomfortable decisions and understand when and where those decisions are holding you back. Okay. So growth mindset series, part one, get uncomfortable and stay there <laughs> because here's the thing when you stay in the discomfort all of a sudden those things that were an excuse that were di like uncomfortable uh, like a week ago are now no longer uncomfortable but something else is going to come up that's what i mean by staying uncomfortable if something is continuing to be uncomfortable for you and you never get better at it and you never enjoy it and it always like it makes you want to vomit that's when you need to just be aware of is this for me or not? And maybe it's just a different strategy. Sometimes being uncomfortable is because you're trying to implement something of somebody else's that is just not a good fit for you. I found myself in this position 
recently as well. Same like with TikTok. I watched all the videos and, you know, I'm just not going to get comfortable pointing at the screen and doing all this weird stuff and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying I can't have fun, but I have to have fun in a way that makes me feel good. Otherwise, it just it's never going to get received. In the few videos that I did like that, they have such little views because I look so awkward. I feel awkward. It's just not me. It's off. It's not on authentic. So I'm getting uncomfortable by being on camera and posting on TikTok and having to do all the editing, which is in general overwhelming and it's uncomfortable for me, but I'm not going to continue to put myself in an uncomfortable position trying to be somebody that I'm not. Do you see the difference here? There's a discomfort with having to get used to something new, but then also recognizing where I still want to stand and be in integrity and authenticity. So that's what I mean by looking at and being hyper aware of what exactly is coming out of your mouth and putting some answers behind it and then figuring out what the next step is. And again, one of the biggest things I cannot stress enough is that part of the reason you are uncomfortable and you're holding yourself back is because you're trying to make a massive leap, right? You're trying to go from zero to 10 in one fail swoop and it just doesn't happen. I literally need you to go from zero to one maybe even zero to 0.5 and then 0.5 to one, one to two, two to four, whatever it is, like take it in incremental small steps. What is it that you need to do and how can you get there? All right. So again, if you want, if you can't get out of your own way and you need somebody to help push you, or maybe you're just not even sure where to turn. Sometimes it's not even about, it's not that you're unwilling to get uncomfortable is that you just don't know how. You don't even know what the first step is. Again, I'm here, I'm available, I wanna help you. Go apply for one of the one-on-one -on -one spots because I promise you it's going to be worth it for you to go into Q4 and Q1. Like I'm telling you the energy that is coming is so incredible. So go. All right. And every Thursday in September, we're going to have a growth mindset series. I'm excited to dive into the other one. So make sure you come back and Mondays will be regularly scheduled short, short episodes. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Real quick reminder, if you want to dive deeper into some of these growth mindset shifts, I have a free growth mindset cheat sheet that is linked in the show notes that you can hop on, grab Grab your journal, start taking notes, and dive into and really work on these mindsets. So be sure to click the link below and grab the free cheat sheet.